It's an opportunity for you to find a one-of-a-kind piece for your home. And joining me today in a moment, Vicki Elmer. But first, we have Judy Sledge, a Detroit fiber artist. Yes. So what does that mean, Judy? That means I work in not fibers, natural fibers. All right. Um, I'm a textile artist that works in felting. 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 Right. Well, show us how it's done. Well, felting is done with natural fibers. It's, I call it from sheet to shawl. Okay. Because it's the wool of the sheep. And Can it's, you hold it's, that up, the tray a little bit, like tilt it upward? There we go. Good. Okay. And it's um, the wool from the sheep is sheared and it's cleaned and it's processed through machines and then it comes out nice and clean. So mm -hmm. um, this is how you get wool. Okay. This, this goes to thread, to yarn, to wool. And so what I do, I take the natural fiber of the wool and I turn it into something special. So if you're interested in... Something like this. Well, actually, like these are different types of wool. These sheep come from all over the world. So this is Merino from South Africa. This is a pack of from the United States. This is blue-faced Leicester from the United Kingdom. So it comes from all over the world and it depends on the sheep. Okay, well, and, well we know Merino wool from all those V-neck sweaters that grandma gets us at Christmas. Yes, yes, yes. The soft ones, right? The soft ones, the really soft ones. So I'm demonstrating what you do and how it gets to be that. So I just take the fiber. Mm -hmm. This is from the sheep. It's been cleaned. Okay. And there's a process that I go through. So if you like chemistry, if you like beauty, if you like art, you would be interested in this because what it does, it changes from this to a, a fabric, to a fabric. So there are things that are needed for that to happen. And in order for that to happen, you need friction. You need alkaline, mm -hmm. which is soap and water. Well, so, learn something new every day. Yeah, yeah. And you are going to be at the Palmer Park Art Fair? I'm going to be at Palmer Park. It's going to be June 2nd and 3rd, Saturday and Sunday. All right, let's All go right. talk to Vicki Elmer. Uh, Vicki, you have some uh, some wares here to show, some like, have, samples of what we will find at the Palmer Park Art Fair. Yeah. Well, I brought a sampler portion because we have 75 artists at the art fair. Some are local, regional, national, but we have uh, Judy Bowman is a local artist, she works in collage. This Her is very piece, cool, I was noticing this from across the room. It is a gorgeous piece. And she will debut, I think, at least one new piece there. This is called, I think, Looking for the Honeys. And, <laughs> her, her, and then her grandson. That describes my, uh, my 20s, Looking yeah, for the Honeys. Yep, and then her grandson is also gonna be in the art fair. We don't have one of his pieces, but he will be um, in our mint artist tent. Okay. We do have a few All right, pieces. let's uh, start table okay. left and work our way across. Okay, the, the sure. Right. Okay. So we have um, some glass pieces by Colette Fortin and Barry Davis, and their work is so gorgeous. Mm -hmm. um, I am wearing another fiber artist, Lynette Hallelay. Her piece is right here. And then we have a few artists coming in from the Detroit Fine Arts Breakfast Club. This is an artist and collector's group that meets on Livernoy, and we invited them, the artists who've never been in an art fair before, to come in in a group tent and share their work. So these two are two of the eight artists will be in that tent. This is a, this is actually a metal purse. Okay, hold that steady so the camera can get a shot. Okay. That's a metal purse that somebody crafted. Yes, Steve Brenninger, he lives very close to Palmer Park. And um, this is a clay piece by Debla Pratt. She is one of about four artists who've been in all five of the Palmer Park art fairs. Okay. These are are pieces by our mint artists. They are all young artists, emerging artists, ages 14 to 18. This right here? Yes, this piece right here is made out of duct tape. This is a felted piece. Um, and we have some jewelry as well, and then we have this really cool table. This really cool table is by one of my favorite artists, Charlene Ursi. It's called Talking Drums, and it tells the story of the drums in Africa, and she told me that they use the drums, the king uses the drums to summon his subjects or to announce a celebration or death. And she will be there with her beautiful hand-painted mm. furniture. Okay, real quick, where and when? Palmer Park Art Fair. The Palmer Park Art Fair, Palmer Park is off Woodward Avenue between Seven Mile and McNichols. People probably pass it all the time. It's this Saturday from 10 to 7, Sunday from 11 to 
Thank you very much both for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.